and they're set to go. Mint on Mosley drawn inside stands, nice light on set. Gates open, racing. Starter would have been pleased with that one. Been beginning well, Faith and Love and Mint on Mosley. They ping out in the early stages. Familiar slots across into third spot in the early stages. Two rack road, fourth air blazer behind those from Mio Kaleo, just a touch wide. Getting off those, Mr. Mo feed the inside, and I'm a pup at the last one. So at the seven, and Faith and Love got out in front now to set it up for in front of Mint on Mosley. Pace is hot. Running third, then Familiar. They string out from Two Rack Road, passing the six. A length back, Mr. Mo feed. He's travelling okay and staying to the inside. Air Blazer well back with EO Kaleo, and I'm a puppet starting to pick up. So inside the four, Faith and Love's gone along at the top end. Comes around the turn at the 300 metre mark. The leader, how much is left? Mint on Mosley. Two Rack Road starting to get to the outside and run on. And running on OK Familiar with Mr Mo Feed and I'm a puppet starting to close. Faith and Love in front but under pressure now. Mint on Mosley. Mr Mo Feed, Turak Road deeper out. I'm a puppet just behind him. Mint on Mosley put the nose in front. Familiar goes through and Mr Mo Feed, baby, over the top gets the money. Mr Mo Feed wins it. Ahead on the line to Familiar. Look at I'm a puppet darting through in front of Mint on Mosley. They got over the top of Turak Road and the early leader, Faith and Love. Well back EO Kaleo. And Air Blazer, the last one home in the last race. And Mr. Mo Feed, the newcomer at big odds, poor Shires, saluting here in the final event. Tracked pretty well mid race. You could see there was something in it. And when he let it down in the straight, it has come two to their one. This newcomer from, well, last start at Morfordville, finishing well back on the 26th of December. Prior to that, was racing in Melbourne, Victoria. Provincial Victoria, but today first up has come with a well-timed run. Quite friendless in the betting at the 26 is on track, but in a race that uh, shaped up as a tricky one has got the money. Now second goes to nine. That's familiar. Darted through. I reckon, reckon Wayne Davis thought there for a stride or two he had the chockies, but the stable mates cleaned him up. And third goes to eight. I'm a puppet who's come from nowhere and necked the winning margin in 103.83. Busy finish, plenty with a chance there. Nick Boy won the margin. Mint on Mosley's run a good race. Uh, two Rack Road, also a good race. Now fourth goes to ten, Mint on Mosley. So two, nine, eight, ten, and five gets the fifth, and that was Two Rack Road. Wouldn't have been a lot between the five there. 103, 83, the winner. Number two, Mr. Mo Feed, a four year old bay gelding, Akeed Mathied. Aussie Craw for Rhonda Cole, T.L. Reichstein, P.A. Meekins, P.M. Cole, J.T.R. McKay, B.J. Thompson, D. Simpson, O.R. Peroz, J.J. McGlashan, Mrs. K. Eichold, Mrs. L. L. Beck, P.C. Atkinson, Mrs. R.A. Peterson, W.D. Peterson and S.A. Francis. Plenty of owners who certainly support the Cole Stable in the winner here. Ridden by or trained by Phil Cole and Paul Shires picks up a winner on today's card. And uh, Paul finishes up on four points in the uh, Jockey Challenge this afternoon. Second goes to nine, familiar, eight-year-old Bay Gilding, Magnus Sorella, Phil Cole, Wayne Davis. Wayne picking up two. He finishes up on four points uh, in the uh, Jockey Challenge. And third goes to eight, and that was I'm a Puppet, a five-year-old Bay Mare, Written Tycoon, Puppet Show, Gary Lafoe, Vanessa Ronit, and Vanessa picks up two. So Jared Todd ends up with the Jockey Challenge this afternoon. Toddy was uh, around a 360 chance at the start of the day, which was a pretty open market, so he'll get the money there in the Jockey Challenge. 10383, and we stand by for the winner to return. Ladies and gentlemen, winner returns number two, Mr. Mo Fee, just at start nine, win two, had the one minor placings and that win this afternoon will take its prize money up over the $30,000 mark and good to see Paul Shires back in the saddle this afternoon, been a long time out with injury and he's back this afternoon, first uh, day back in the saddle.
and he's never far away from the action. We stand by for correct weight here on the final event.